well, all right, I have a story to tell. And some of you will get a laugh out of it. Some of you, you know, might learn something. We'll see what's going to go on here. Anyways, I'm sitting on the motorcycle because this is how my day began. Got up this morning, ready to get my teeth nice and clean. Do they look good? Yeah, it was kind of nice. It was pleasant. It was actually like a spa treatment for my mouth. It made my mouth really fresh and clean. I was excited about it because I hadn't had it for six months and it was time. Anyways, so I'm laying there in the dentist's office and she's polishing up my teeth and all of a sudden my phone started going nuts. And I'm like, what's that? I kind of ignored it. And then I hopped back on the motorcycle, which was my transportation to the dentist's office and I checked my phone. And the message that I heard, it, it scared me. It made me very afraid. And my wife said, come home, come home. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So I zoom home and I find out that there is a geyser in my house. A geyser has blown in my house. Like Old Faithful has erupted in my house, whoosh, and there's water everywhere. I come home and there's rags and blankets full of water. It was quite a sight. Anyway, so here we are, ready to play Mr. Plumber again. And I'm gonna start with this right here. I will tell the story in the place that it happened. See you in a minute. Is that? What has happened? What is that? What in the world could be wrong? Oh my goodness. All right, so where were you when this all happened? I was trying to clean. And so I was just kind of straightening some things up and I'm knocked something off and it hit our water line and old faithful decided to come and visit me this morning um took about two seconds for the bathroom to get drenched and had about two inches of water in here at some point and then it started flooding into the wood floors so that was fun so i ran outside tried to turn the water off but couldn't get it couldn't get it i know how to do it I just couldn't get it and uh, so anyway after finally trying I, I, I got the water off came back in here the hallway was soaked the entryway was soaked bathroom obviously soaked um tried to let that that didn't work so we just started JT and I got every towel and every comforter and every rug anything that would soak up water and we just started soaking up as much as we could. But I'm officially done. I need a vacation. So it's daddy's turn to take over. Yes. All right, let's get to fixing. All right, daddy's here to save the day. All right, so I came in, it was wet everywhere. And so I asked Beth, where's the leak? What happened? Da, 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 da. She told me the story and she pointed out the leak it's obvious so this is the culprit this is what did it batman did this let's blame this on batman so it was sitting right here and she told me that it fell over ah and hit the water line right there all right so there's the water line toothpaste took it out batman i don't like you anymore all right so began to analyze it and it was in this pipe right here you see how far it's above the ground it was not that far above the ground it was level with the ground so i'm like all right what am i going to do so i started analyzing and where i had to go is underneath the house again <laughs> underneath the house <laughs> Time to man up again. So I went underneath the house, didn't have to go that far, and I found that I could push that up through the bottom of the floor. So this has been pushed up. I've got plenty of room. I'm not gonna have to add any CPVC pipe on it, but I am gonna have to fix that. And let's get to it. All right, 
first thing I got to do, I got to make this flush again. So I've got my tool here, my pipe cutter. Some people don't like these. They like saws better, but this has always done the job for me. You can tell I've had a lot of plumbing issues. <laughs> and you'll see why, because this is older. See how it breaks off? So I really need to get a saw on what I need to do. And yeah, this is good for some new stuff, but not for the old stuff. I'm gonna have to get a saw and cut that a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go get the saw and I'll be right back. All right, this half inch pipe is old. So it's brittle. That's why I'm having to cut it very delicately. It's just gonna take a lot of time. My blade is not that great. I've used it to cut all types of things. So I sit here working back and forth real slow because I don't have a lot of room to work with. I wanna see. And it'll be all. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. I guess see. a couple of minutes. Well, come over here and look, bud. is not to crack it any more than it is. JT, tell me what happened with all this water. What do you remember? Um, I remember that I saw uh, water coming up uh, from, this, from the toilet. Wow, what'd you do? Um, I tried to help Mama and she didn't let me help her. Well, how'd you try to help her? Well, I tried to, when I tried to help Mama, she, um, made me go outside by myself. Oh, did she? Yes. There was no helping. No I think she was worried you are going to get water all over you. Did you get water on you? No. I noticed when I came home, you were wearing an apron. Why were you wearing an apron? To help. Um, because I was going to. I was eating. Well, you're having a hard time cutting that, aren't you? Yeah, it's not being cooperative. Maybe cause that uh, saw isn't sharp enough. You're right, it's kind of dull, but that's what I have. In fact, I have another one. I'm gonna go check it out, see if it does better. But I think. Ah. Got it. Nice, clean, little sweat. All right, now I gotta clean it up. Here is where it broke off. You can kind of see what's going on there. Broke off real bad in there. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this right here. I could not find a replacement for this at Lowe's. Everything went half inch right here and not three quarter inch, but then I couldn't find a half inch right to fit to that right there. So let's take this off and we're gonna keep the water line. Alright, that wasn't very tight anyways. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Taking that off. And boom. There it goes. So we're gonna keep this, reuse this. It looks good. They didn't even have any thread tape on there. Anyways, this is still good. We'll put that back on the toilet. Here's what broke off. So this is an old version. You see it tightens and it loosens. I'll show you my new one in a second. Alright. See you in a minute. The new one. This is what we're going to replace it with. A newer bottle called Sharp Bite. Half inch to three eighths. And here we go. So that means the pipe itself is half inch. That's going to go in here. This is where the water is going to come in from the underneath the floor. And then we're going to connect the... Let's get rid of this. Need that or not there. We might have used that, so let's keep it. Yeah, that comes off. I'm gonna connect this right there. Alright, so before we do that though, we've got to put some 
I think you need some thread tape. This one didn't have any thread tape, but we're going to put a little thread tape, not very much, just a little bit. I'm going to see. All right, look, look, look. You can see. Let me get this out of the way. All right, I don't, I don't like very much thread tape, so I'm putting one loop, and that's all I put. Kind of becomes a pain in the behind when you have more than one loop. Thread tape doesn't have to be pretty. Well, there you go. Then, all right, get that on there. And with that thread tape, you don't have to go super, super tight, but snug. So there's a light finger tight, and then a quarter turn is what I like. Then you can always go tighter later on, but I like to do all the as much tightening as I can when it's not connected to the glued pieces. Anyways, there we go. So we got that on there. All right. Now let's go back inside and do some more work. All right, back behind the toilet. Gotta make sure this pipe is dry before you start. Nice and dry. Don't fall down there, Mike. Don't fall down. Okay, then you've got to clean up the edges with some sandpaper. So, got a little sandpaper. Just go around a couple times. You don't want to take off too much of the width of the pipe, but you want to clean. All the way around. Oh, there goes my pipe. Man. Got to go into the house and pull it back up. All right, see you in a minute. Let's go into the house together. We can see what happened. Let's get in there. Go back under the house. See, I got to get that pipe. Oh, it is cool under here. So my pipe is right. I don't know if you see it or not. There, so. Right there, and it just popped out of that hole. You can see, I don't know if you can see or not, not much light in here, but water everywhere, water all, I'm gonna say it's 10, 10, 15 foot radius here of water. Anyway, so I gotta put that pipe back up through there. I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go, it's back up through there. And I just need to make sure I don't let it fall back down. If it falls back down, I got a plan for that. All right, let's get out of here. Whoa. Whoa. Let's get out of there. All right, coming out. Ah. All right, help me hold my pipe up. I've got a new split flange. I don't know if it'll do much or not, but I'm gonna stick it on there. Makes it look prettier. The old one was all corroded. So I'm gonna stick that on there. Maybe it'll help me. All right. Yes, I think it just might. That pipe from slipping down, maybe. That's a little bit snug. Yeah, there's a little bit of tightness there. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh. So, sandpapered. Feels good. Whoa, I'm trying to slip down again. Stay up, pipe. Stay up for me. All right, here we go. Now it's all about just putting glue on there and putting it back together. Let's do it. All right, next thing we're dealing with is the glue. And the glue is very strong. I don't like to get it on the skin, but I also don't like to get it on everything else. And so what I like to do is, I'm gonna put that right there. Come on, stay up, pipe. Don't fall down on me. That will hopefully keep the glue from dripping down on everything. So this is the type of glue where you have to pack the primer. So this is a two-part process. Let me show you the two part process. First, you catch the purple. I like how they do it in cups. And the purple is the prime. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it, have it ready to go. And then you've got the glue itself, medium or orange, C-band glue. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open both of them. It's not very expensive. If you use it once a year, that's <laughs> what I'm running into, doing pipe work. I'm a, I feel like a professional plumber. Anyway, so all right, so. 
put it down here and let you see this. All right, right down here. Here's your primer. All right, primer. You see how it is? Like a little cotton ball on the end. Prime it up. Get a bunch of it on there. Come on, get a little more than that. You see it dripping all over the floor, so that paper towel is stopping that from happening. All right, good amount of primer. And then here comes the glue itself. And it's a lot thicker. And stick it on there. That looks like enough. Then we just gotta get, I like to put a little bit inside of my pipe. And I'm gluing. Oops, I got on the floor. Now, I gotta, oh, this is where I needed. I gotta get this on there. Oh, that's just not good. Can get my hand underneath there. Pull that up. This is not working. This is not, I gotta get in here. Oh, I lost my pipe again. Ah. Oh, all right, that ended up being a disaster. I got it all over me. Got all over the floor. <laughs> Let me clean this stuff up before it sticks on the floor forever. So, how to do a boo boo. I had to stick the wipe underneath there and uh, have her hold that pipe up. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, let that dry. Oh, it stinks. That's killing some brain cells. Anyways, had to get her underneath there and she pushed up, held the pipe up while I pushed down and got that pipe on there. I don't know if it's on there or not or good. We'll find out when I turn the water on. Anyways, I'm gonna let that sit there and dry for a little while. There you go, final product. Woo, that was not fun. All right, so we waited about 30 minutes. Let the glue dry. I got Beth inside. She's gonna tell me if this is leaking or not. She'll be hollering out that door up there. And I am going to turn the water on. There we go. Water's on. I don't hear anybody hollering. That's good. Let's go in there. Let's see if this worked or not. Say that again. So far, so good. Are you a happy woman? Yes, I need a nap. Okay, so. Let me look and feel for leaks. Got no leak there, no leak there, no leak there, no leak right there. Let's give it a few minutes, see if it works. We had a geyser in our house. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> it was drenching me. It was trying to dr drown me. It was like a surprise shower. You like surprise showers? No, especially when it comes from toilet pipes. All right, we hope this works. If you like this stuff, you better subscribe. So not just entertaining. <laughs> Love y'all for watching. And see you on the next adventure with Fast Food Fitness. Oh, it's filled up. Here's pressure's building. Let's see. <laughs> See ya. JT, JT! It worked! It worked, buddy! It worked! It worked! It worked! It worked! Yes, it worked! It worked! Yeah! Are you glad it worked? Are you glad it worked? Yes, and uh, the drain I built, it worked too. Yes!